Hello, 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 my lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. My name is Joy. Hello. So today's pick a card, we're going over what you need to know. And this is a full moon edition. You can watch this at any time, but um, we do have a full moon today. So I kind of felt inspired to do this around the full moon. So I'll be picking a moonology card along with a shadow card at the end of this uh, reading and a universe card to kind of just go over some different things you need to keep in mind, maybe some things you need to release. Uh, and this full moon, um, full moon energy does uh, expand for about three days after the full moon. And again, this is timeless. So whenever you feel, whenever you're watching this is no bad time, so to speak. Uh, so with that said, and I'll also be doing charms and letters at the end. Um, this isn't technically a love reading, but we're kind of encompassing all kinds of whatever messages come up. So it will involve some love stuff, but overall general information too. Um, and then our charms and letters to go along with it. So with that said, we have three piles today. We have pile one, which is this heart-shaped green opal. And that is with the Hush Tarot. Then pile two, I have a blue appetite with the uh, illuminated, ethereal illuminated tarot. <laughs> and then pile three is this beautiful selenite um, palm stone with a mandala etched into it. And this is with the Mystic Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me, tarot. So take a moment, take a deep breath. Go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. If you're really torn between two piles, feel free to watch both. You could have messages in both. Maybe you have a lot of going on, a lot of things to keep in mind, or there could be one or two pieces from each pile that you really need to know or resonates with you. So again, we have pile one, pile two, pile three. The timestamps will be in the description box below. Um, sometimes people pick by the numbers as well. So <clears throat> I'm gonna leave these up for a moment. Take a deep breath, go within, and go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. Okay guys, I hope you picked your pile. <clears throat> hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile one. Today's reading, we're going over what do you need to know? This is kind of overall general information, can involve love, other things, some shadow work things from the universe. We have charms and letters. So there's going to be just an overall, just plethora of information that we're going to go over. I'm not sure where we're going. We're going wherever my guides take us and uh, we'll see what we get, whatever messages come through. So it's just whatever you guys need to know for your greatest good at this time. All right. And as always, I appreciate all you guys for spending time with me, for tapping in, tuning in. It's truly an honor. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing a um, a, uh, a drawing for a free personal reading um, next month, which is coming up very soon. Um, and that's the only personal readings I'm doing at this time. So uh, make sure you're subscribed and leaving a comment, even if it's just like, hey, what's up? Uh, that works too. If you don't want to share your story, no problem. So, all right, so for pile one, what do they need to know? Any information, any guidance? You can offer any love information. A lot of, a lot of my people watch for love. So we have the queen of pentacles flew out. So I'll take that. We have a two of swords. So it looks like we have a decision for you guys. We have to send a decision about happiness. What makes you happy? What feeds your soul? What makes you feel secure is going on right now. And then we have a two of cups, which is a lot about partnership, love, connections. 
So I'm going to stop this here for right now. I'm doing my reading a little differently today. I'm just kind of going wherever my guides kind of take me. So right off the bat, guys, what do you guys need to know? You need to follow your heart. You need to follow what feeds your soul, what makes you the happiest. So where that be a partnership, where that be something that fulfills your, bound, your foundations, those are what you need to decide on. <sighs> My guides are giving me some kind of tough love. They just told me to flip over the deck. So on the bottom of the deck, we also have the Queen of Swords energy. So they're saying, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You might be like, well, I don't know. But they're saying, you know, you know from the depth of depth of your soul what makes you the happiest and I feel like you guys are denying it you're a little more worried about like in this decision that you guys have you're you're playing I'm hearing devil's advocate so we could have a lot of air signs in this preferably some Libras um, where you kind of weigh out both sides but you never make a decision and they're saying it's time to decide to do what's best for you to really see what brings you the most happiness the reason I'm talking about this, this is the sun. This is the happiest card in all of tarot. And I'm being told, you know, you see, you see your truth. You see this decision you need to make, but you're not making it. You're holding back. You're what ifing. You're, you're doubting yourself. And everything you have within you, you know, don't really worry about too much of the gender of this card. You know, I know I have, I have males and females that watch my my channel but just know that whatever builds you up the most and whatever gives you the most clarity in your life is a decision you need to go after but I, I keep being drawn back to this eye like you see it you see your own truth you see your own truth you might not be speaking it but you see it and for a lot of you guys is revolving around love with this two of cups here two of cups is very much one of my soulmate connections um, soul level connection cards so this decision may be revolved around you constantly per putting this person before yourself and I keep getting told to choose you to choose yourself you know I'm not oblivious to the fact that she's wearing a wedding dress in this in this card but I'm being told like <sighs> It might be a point in your life, you know, well, this is a general reading today, um, wasn't necessarily a love reading, but I'm being told that, this is hard to say, you may need to marry yourself for a little while. That might be the choice that you're deciding between someone and yourself, and, and I'm seeing that you may need to be choosing yourself. We're going to pull some more cards. I'm going to pull more cards at this point, actually, just to kind of see, but uh, I keep being drawn to like you see the truth you're not accepting the truth but you see it and you need to trust your gut you need to trust your intuition you guys are amazingly intuitive in this group but you have to start trusting that you have to see like this clarity that you have within yourself and trust it all right i want to pull moonology card or two i'm going to see what kind of flips out all right, so for pile one, what in information can you give us on the situation that you guys are kind of tiptoeing around with me? Hmm. This one. So we have time to take action. New moon in Aries. So if you guys have been sitting at a standstill about what to do, they're saying it's time to take action. You can't sit around and pine away or wait around for this person forever. That you need to continue on your path. And if it's meant to be, they will meet you there. Don't worry about leaving them behind. If they are meant to be with you, they'll find you there. But it's time for you guys to like really excel, to really see yourself truly. You guys have like beautiful souls in this pile and I don't think that I don't know if you guys see it completely or if you 
are people pleasers. Oh, we got two more cards, so I'm going to take them both. It says, you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. And then have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. Whatever choice you guys make, it will be the right choice for yourself. You know, I know we're doing a kind of full moon reading. All these moons are new moon and just a waxing moon. So a little bit of, of clarity popping through. You guys also may be dealing with Aries or a fire sign, a cancer or a water sign. But I'm hearing like you've been having some very intense dream, very transformative dreams with this uh, butterfly here. <sighs> But I keep getting the feeling that you guys aren't trusting yourself. You aren't trusting your intuition. If you are already, rock on. Continue to do that. For those of you who aren't, you know your truth. You see your truth. You're just not accepting your truth. And so they're saying it's time to accept and move forward for what is best for your greatest good at this time. And it may involve with our Queen of Swords here making an abrupt cut and I know that's not always the easiest choice to make but it might be the needed choice so I want to pull some shadow cards this is from this dark shadow oracle Zach, I haven't messed with this too much my lovely friend Kine donated this to the channel and I haven't really used it but um, let's see what comes up I might have to pull the card depending on what comes up or what comes up intuitively it's way too many cards all right, just one card, guys. One or two cards. Pile two, or pile one, sorry. So you guys have Envious Gluttony, number nine. And Calling the Storm, 30. So the shadow is about, you know, especially at full moon time, it's talking about what we need to release. If you've been envious of anyone or any situation at your at this time it's time to release that kind of thing we also have calling in the storm so when we think about a storm when a storm comes in it kind of comes through sometimes storms can be scary i live in florida so we have a lot of hurricanes they're terrifying but and now they're showing me a fire so even when as scary as the fires are they kind of go through and clean things out so life can start again so I keep getting told there's going to be like a renewed cycle, but you have to choose that renewed cycle. Yeah, so it's almost like you need to call in the destruction of everything you've known to start anew. Any, like, you have to think about envy and gluttony are both, are two of the de seven deadly sins. So those are things you need to um, release. <laughs> Sorry, they're giving me lots of messages. So I'm seeing the whole movie Seven. If you're older, you may know that movie Seven. But I'm telling, telling not just envy and gluttony, but all the seven sins. So if, if this is sparking anything in your head as I'm saying this stuff, I need you to look up Seven Deadly Sins, look at what they are, and look at what you um, connect with, what you know is a truth about yourself, what you see the truth about yourself and really evaluate that and let that go because it's not serving you. If that doesn't ring a bell with you, let the part of the message go. Remember these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I'm I'm hearing that if you've felt like you're in the middle of this like whirlwind, that things will be calming down, but just know this storm is taking out the needed things that need to go that are no longer serving you in your life. Um, I want to pull one card from the universe and then I want to pull some charms and letters for you guys. I know this isn't one of my normal readings and we're doing this a little odd. Hopefully you guys like this. It's kind of just, it's very late <laughs> where I am and I kind of felt inspired to just do this reading real quick. So I'm doing that. So I'm assuming the ones that find this reading will be the ones that needed to hear it. All right, what else? In the universe do we have for pile one all right we have two cards that popped out they have said happiness is my birthright that might need to be your mantra at this time 
If you've been told to meditate and you're not sure what to meditate on, that might be a mantra for you. It's just saying happiness is my birthright over and over. Then you guys have the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So sometimes, you know, I know manifesting is really big right now. Sometimes, you know, it's good to be specific, but not necessarily the specifics on how to get there. So being told that if you've been like, well, it has to be X, Y, Z to get me here. You need to release that a little bit and just surrender what your outcome that you want. You can be very detailed about your outcome and allow the universe to figure out how that's gonna work and how it's gonna benefit you. Um, so allow the universe and trust there, like I'm seeing the word trust like blinking in my head. So um, sometimes they give me a word and almost like in a neon light that's flashing and I'm hearing trust or seeing trust very big. So I'm hearing just surrender and trust, you know, surrender your wishes, surrender what you're trying to manifest and trust that the universe is going to conspire to make that happen for you. But the, the hows, the winds, the whys, all those little details, you don't need to worry about that. Just trust that it will happen is what they're kind of giving me. And this happiness is my birthright, knowing that like being happy, being fulfilled is what everyone deserves and you totally deserve. Um, and just to accept that that is a truth for yourself and that is coming. So, all right, so for pile one, I'm gonna move on to our charm, charms in our letters. And a lot of you guys like this one. Actually, I'm gonna leave it. The T was out of the package. I feel like that's important. I'm gonna pull a Zodiac dice. So you guys have Libra. Libra might be involved right now. For some of you guys, it could just be an air sign. You could be a Libra. Um, or that message might just be for some people. I'm gonna pull some more letters. So pile one, anything that is attached to pile one, people's initials, letters, location, any, any insight you guys can give us for confirmation for those who are watching. It'd be greatly appreciated. So we have an E, a C, an A, an F, and a U. I just saw fuck you, <laughs> sorry. Um, oh, I probably shouldn't have said that word. I'm gonna get in trouble for my ads. But um, I'm seeing the actual ET phone home where his phone, his finger lights up and he's like, ouch, where your heart hurts. <laughs> so maybe some of you guys are dealing with a physical heart, heart ache where you wanna say F you to your person. Um, if you're getting a cue from the universe, don't worry about this fat. We're thinking P-H-A-T. Um, but whatever those, those letters mean to you, I'm not going to go too much further onto those. Let's pull some charms, pile one. Any other insight on what they need to know right now, what they need to release, anything to keep in mind for this new moon? Oh, we only have three. So we have this moon and this little angel on this moon. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's sleeping with the number six and a shell. So this, I keep getting like with this surrender, like almost like give it over to God. Let Jesus take the wheel kind of information like, well, just know that the universe is supporting you, the moon supporting you, whatever you believe in is supporting you, and, it, and you can just go to sleep and just know that it's all gonna work out the way that it is. And the number six might be prevalent for you guys. And then this shell. So I have a couple big shells around my house and my daughter will pick it up and listen for the ocean because I've told her. And if you ever picked up a shell and put it against your ear and it just is that sound but it kind of sounds like waves within there and i'm hearing like the whole world is in the palm of your hand and you can create what you want you just have to realize that you are the creator of your reality and um, so if you've never tried manifesting i'm guided to tell you to work on that to look into that um, that it's really like a beautiful time for you guys to really step into your power right now pile one like 
you don't, I don't even know if you guys realize how powerful you are. Maybe that's what you're not seeing, that you hold your happiness in your hand and it's all you. All right, guys, so that's about the end of the information that I'm getting. Um, as always, thank you for being here with me for a reading. Um, thanks for sitting in for a little bit of a different one. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. And thank you guys so very much. Bye, guys. sitting there hello check a couple things first hello 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 my lovely friends for pile two you guys picked this very beautiful blue appetite um I don't know if you guys can really see how pretty this is because it's really dark right now so I don't have my window open but I just got this the other day at this new crystal store I found and it's stunning. I felt the need to show you another really big crystal I got. <laughs> Look how beautiful this amethyst is. All right, sorry. I'm going there again tomorrow. I'm trying not to spend too much money but I'm obsessed. But this blue appetite is so pretty. So, all right. <laughs> down to business so we are kind of doing general information that you need to know this is kind of full moon edition this doesn't really it's timeless so it doesn't matter when you find this but um, we are just going over anything you need to know this could be general life love whatever i'm going to pull some moon cards some shadow cards and some um, oracle cards from the universe and as well as some letters and charms for you guys so pile two what do they need to know right now for their greatest good? I feel like that's too many. All right, pile two. What do they need to know for their greatest good? I have eight of wands. We have a ten of pentacles. We have a knight of swords. Woo! I wasn't going to take five cards, but I'm going to because five fell out. All right. So for our tarot cards, you guys have eight of wands, ten of pentacles, knight of swords, seven of wands, nine of pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Okay. Oh, three of swords. So... For those of you that have been in some heartache energy, I feel like the universe wants you to know that things are going to be changing swiftly for you. You're going to be seeing your mm, what you value in life is swiftly going to change soon. So you may have put a lot of stock into a certain person, a certain outcome. But I'm hearing like you're going to have a clarity of what you really want in your life and what you find loyal to your, your future, what you need to swiftly change. And it's going to come in with very quick epiphanies. Um, I still see a lot of you guys defending your stance about this, this relationship, almost like there's this quote that's coming up. It's like um, a reminder quote. It relate, I, I resonate with it, so hopefully you don't got, find it offensive, but it's don't cling on to a mistake because you spent so long making it, is the quote that my guides are giving me. So I'm hearing like if you've kind of been there, if this is the energy you've been in and this is your, your reading, that all it's gonna take is one little shift, one little tweak in your perspective and things are gonna start moving quickly, swiftly, get you back on course to your your highest good. Um, you may be a little defensive. Either way, even defending like 
the meaning with this relationship or defending where you're going. You don't necessarily have to be, but I feel like that's just a lot of, hmm, what they're giving me is almost like who you are. You feel the need to defend where you've been, who you are, who you've stood on, your beliefs, but just know that you are very fruitful in everything that you do. You don't necessarily have to defend it to a fault or defend it to a detriment of your soul. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm hearing you guys are gonna be very fruitful um, this may be shifting focus from a love situation, just focusing on your future, on your business, on your creative endeavors that are going to be moving a certain way. Maybe just trying to figure those out a little bit, but I, I feel like you guys are going to have a, an epiphany. It might be in its infancy because we do have a knight here. Our knights are actions, but they're not say as high as like a king or a queen. So they might be slightly juvenile, but you're going to be getting to where you need to be a very sense of fulfillment loyalty but i feel like it's going to come from something other than a love connection so if you're looking for a love reading i don't know what we're going to get we're still going to pull more cards so i don't know what's going to come through but i feel like this is just a bam switch kind of thing i don't know if you guys have been like releasing stuff with the new moon if you guys are releasing an old energy releasing an old heartache but I'm hearing like, once you shut the door on this pain that your heart's been feeling, that all this stuff is gonna swiftly come in and it's gonna make you feel like really good to be independent. So our Knight of, Pen our Knight of Pentacles can also be someone that's a very independent person that has their own abundance, their own wealth, their own, mm, that they don't need anything else. So you may be switching to that. There may be people that don't understand your new viewpoint and you might feel the need to defend it or hold it at all costs and that's also okay um, but just stand strong in your conviction stand your ground is what my guides are giving me it's okay whatever this new thing you're going with i'm hearing stand your ground so let's pull some moonology cards to see what else information because i feel like this is a very clear path that i'm getting so i want to see if i get any other information anything else you guys want to give us for pile two please oh this one wants to pop out you and your loved ones are safe. This came up last reading too. So whatever you choose, like if you're worried about how this is gonna affect your loved ones and things like that, just know that everyone's gonna be okay. It's all gonna work out for them. New moon of cancer, she also could be dealing with a cancer or a water sign. Um, <clears throat> nope, okay. Anything else? Panel two. And you guys saw those cards pop out and I said no, it's because I was told no. So not per my own justification. I did see a Leo card. So if that pops back out, which is, oh, two more popped out. So, oh, three. So we're going to take all three of these. All right. So, sorry, I was saying a, a Leo card popped out. So maybe that might be one or two of you dealing with a Leo. I don't see any more Leos. But we have a, a new moon in Cancer, a full moon in Cancer. So some of you guys may be really dealing with a Cancer. You're a Cancer yourself. It says a personal itch personal issue re reaches a resolution, which I definitely feel like you're, you're changing gears, you're moving forward, you're releasing some old things. We also have expect a powerful change, new moon eclipse, and then new moon in Aquarius, which I think is coming up soon, says bring love into the situation. So some of you guys may be having, I'm hearing a new love or a renewal of love coming up soon. But just to know that there's a big shift coming on, but whatever that shift is taking place, I feel like you guys are really letting go of some old hurts. This could be family hurts as well. But um, and just know everyone's gonna be fine. You're gonna have a resolution. Some powerful changes are going in. Possibly some new love or renewed love is being brought in. So this next deck is my dark shadow. So I'm kind of looking at this as something you guys need to release in this full moon, which full moons are all about releasing energy. Um, you can set intentions and stuff, but it's really about releasing the old, like what no longer serves you. So um, taking those. Uh, so for pile two, what do they need to release for their highest good, please? What needs to be released for pile two, their highest good? I love when flippers come out for this kind of reading, but if I have to take one, I'll take one. But keep going for a minute and don't worry I will pull charms and letters this one okay 
her chance to dream. 28. So I pull this card or pull the book for this, to be honest with you guys. I'm not getting what the message is for this. If I can find the book. Jeez Louise. Sorry guys, I'm trying to... Oh, there it is. I feel like there's a message that I'm not getting, so I wanna make sure you guys are getting your full thing. So let me look this up real quick. This is a deck that I haven't used too much, but a lovely dear friend of mine got this for the channel. So it says, perchance to dream. If I sleep long enough, when I wake up, the pain will have been gone. Which <laughs> really goes inside with this. This is really talking about releasing that pain, releasing the things that have been holding you back, pile two. Letting go of old hurts, no matter how long you've spent on them, really letting go and moving forward because there's so many good things in store with you, store for you, so many fulfilling things that are coming in quickly, but I'm just hearing you need to close the door to the past. I know that's not an easy thing to do, so I'm not pretending that it is. But no, it can be done because new things are coming in for you guys. So um, it talks about it's time to surrender, to drown, to dive in head first into the cozy, all enveloping darkness of blanket. It's the moment of weakness. So it's really about surrendering to all those shadow aspects you may have of yourself, to all those pains you've experienced to really truly move past them, to rise above them, to let them go at this time. And that you can do it. Yeah, I keep hearing like, you're stronger than you think. And some of you guys may say like, how strong do I need to be? Because we get there, right? As a lot of us watching my channel are very awakened, spiritually awakened, have been through the ringer and then some, and we're like, really, how much more? But you are called to do big things. You guys that watch my channel, that are drawn to my channel, it's because we are drawn to do big, big, huge, dynamic things. And those aren't always easy, but they're necessary and needed. So I'm hearing, you know, give in to the pain, let go of the pain and really move in. And once you, I, I keep hearing, it's almost like a switch. Once you let go of this old crap, I'm trying not to cuss, once you let it go, it's gonna swiftly change. So just try. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. I know it's hurtful, I know it's painful. I'm right there with you guys. But you gotta just flip the switch and move forward and know that their powerful changes are coming and everyone's gonna be safe. You know, resolutions are being made and new love, new beautiful love, either Romantic love, spiritual love, love for yourself is going to be coming in and filling your cup. Like we have to look at this Aquarius card and she's like pouring in and I'm hearing the stuff is just gonna pour into you with almost like an excited newness is gonna come in. My nose is itching if that means anyone, anything to anyone, I have to tell you guys that. Um, woo, like severe itching. Uh, I usually feel like someone's thinking about you know, my nose itches, but um, just this beautiful newness. And now I'm seeing they're giving me like blooming, like um, blossoming of flowers, like these flowers that are like this, like blooming, like quickly. Like once you let go of this crap that's been holding you back, it's going to bloom. So I want to pull a card from the universe or two before I pull your guys' charms and letters. So for pile two, what else do you guys have? This one wanted to pop out. It says, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So this is a lot about switching your view, your perspective of life. And then once you switch to that view of love, you'll see everything very differently. I feel like I need to pull another card for you guys. So another card, this one. Okay, huh, we got this in pile one, it's kind of funny happiness is my birthright when that comes out i feel like that's a very much a mantra so if you're working on getting into meditation things like that you're not sure and you want to have a mantra maybe just repeat happiness is my birthright because you guys 
deserve it all. You don't deserve to be stuck in this energy. Like if you're stuck here, it's time to let that go. If you recently were here, it's really time to let that go. If you're moving past this rock on, you're on the right path. There's no wrong spot in your journey, but sometimes we do need to move through things. We can't stay there. There's a quote that, um, you know, grief or sadness is a place that we visit. It's not a place that we unpack our bags. So if you've been unpacking your bags in that sad vibration, that low vibration, it's time to pack up your shit and move on to happiness because it is your birthright. You guys don't deserve to feel this crap, this sadness, all that stuff, because you have a new love, a new renewed energy just around the corner, but you have to decide to let that go. And I know I'm just like repeating this message, but they are pounding it into me. When I say they, I mean my guides, my angels, uh, those beautiful entities that give me my messages that I'm very blessed and humbled to get, but they are just like, I'm just seeing like pounding it into you. Like you can do this. And it's like, you're just like, everything you want is on the other side of your fear. Like you can work through this, you can get through this. It's very beautiful. But I'm sick of, the, not that I'm sick of that message, I just feel like that that's all they're giving me. So I wanna move past that. And we're gonna pull our letters and our charms. I'm also gonna pull a zodiac dice. I do have to mention that Taurus was up here, which I didn't pull earlier. So I will say Taurus was visible there. And then we have Sagittarius. So we had an earth sign and a fire sign. So take that as you will. So for letters, we have, okay, we have LL, an I, an A, a D and an O. So this could be someone's initials. This could all, Al, whatever you wanna, Aldi. Want to shop at Aldi? Maybe Aldi's mean something to somebody. Maybe you met someone there, or whatever. I don't know where you're from, but I know Aldi's in lots of countries. But um, this could be a place, could be someone's initials, something meaningful to you. So take that as you will. And I will pull some charms for you guys. So pile two. What else do we? What other messages can they get? What else do they need to know? For the highest good. My guides have been really weird. Normally I do handfuls of charms and they've just been like barely anything. So, so we have a joker, which I'm hearing the full, so new start. We have a flower, we have an angel, and a glass of wine. If you felt a little stuck, I'm hearing like wine doesn't necessarily mean you have to drink alcohol if you don't. But I'm hearing like enjoy the fruitfulness of nature or drink some wine. Uh, I'm hearing like let yourself loose. Like what is, if you don't drink wine, for me personally, wine makes me unwind. So whatever it is that helps you unwind, it's kind of the message you're giving me with this. I'm hearing your angels, your guardians, your light team, your spirit guides, the universe, God, Jesus, Krishna, <laughs> Mother Divine, Ganesh, whoever you believe in, they're giving me like the holy lineage right now. Whoever it is that you connect with outside of yourself, just know that they are there. They're willing to help you. They want to help you. Sometimes we do have to ask for their help, but just know that they have their hand in everything that you're doing and that you, if you listen, if you can quiet yourself, if you can meditate, if you can practice gratitude, they are willing, you know, they, they, well, they're always stepping in if you ask, but I'm hearing you'll be able to hear them more if you can raise your vibrations to meet them. So that's another thing to understand. So sometimes we are like, oh, I never hear any messages. I never, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes we have to realize that if we're in a low vibrational state, they're so high vibe. They have to lower themselves so much, but we have to raise our vibe to meet them. So in order to, if you've never felt like you've connected with your guides or connected with your angels or connected to your light team, whatever you want to call them, maybe step back from your situation and look at, have you been able to rise your, raise your vibration high enough to meet them? Because they're lowering as much as they can, but they're so high vibrational. In order to get those messages, we have to meet them halfway. So I'm hearing they, they still can work miracles in your life, but if you want to, for some reason I feel like someone's maybe even said, I never hear anything. 
or I never get messages or I never whatever. And they're just reminding you to try to remain high vibe, regardless if that's high vibe foods, high vibe way of being, meditating, practicing joy, practicing gratitude, practicing just things that lift your soul and make you feel like, ah, so good. That's where they are at. That's what those messages are at. So I'm just being told to like try to raise your vibration. This flower here, I'm hearing like a newness, a freshness, a new excitement for life is coming in with this joker. I don't feel like you're dealing with a joker. I feel like they're, they're giving me the full card. Like there's a new beginning right around the edge for you guys. You just have to take it. It's your for the, yours for the taking, but you have to take it. So pile two, I hope this helps. I hope this gives you some insight. Um, hopefully the messages weren't harsh. Sometimes the stuff they give me, I don't even realize what I'm saying till afterwards or till I get a lot of harsh comments that I have to go back and watch my readings. I know I don't talk about my process too much, but I don't really remember my readings. If I'm being honest with you guys, because the messages come from somewhere other than me. So, oh, Leo just popped up. So I'm going to call that too. So anyways, enough of that. But thank you guys so very much for, for tuning in for this reading. Hopefully you found some value. For all my subscribers, thank you so much. I will be doing a um, free personal reading uh, for next month for all my subscribers that comment. So don't forget to do that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Thanks guys. Mwah. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile three. Trying to move some stuff out of the way. We are going over what do you need to know? You know, we're in the middle of a full moon. Um, this is timeless, so it doesn't matter when you're finding this, but full moon energy does last for three days around either side of the full moon. So this is just kind of a general reading. There could be love information. There's been all kinds of information that's come through in the past two piles. So it's whatever you need to know for your highest good, um, some things that you may need to release. So I'm doing tarot, moonology, oracle cards, some shadow work cards, and some messages from the universe, as well as some letters and some charms on just things you guys need to keep in mind, possibly release, allow in, things like that. Just anything you need to know for your highest good. Woo. So we have two swords that popped out, so I'm gonna take that. Pile three. What do they need to know at this time for their highest good? We have the moon. I'm hearing shadow work. If you've been fighting against shadow work, it's not a bad thing. If you're a light worker who thinks that you don't have shadows, there's duality and everything you need to um, encompass it. We have temperance. I'm also hearing with this moon that some things are gonna come to light. Some you being scared or some people not wanting to let their truths know are going truths known are going to be coming to light. It still might take some patience with temperance here, but I feel like a lot of you guys have been patient about like someone making a choice or possibly you making your own choice. I don't know what else is going to pop through, but those came through. And when I get certain messages, I have to say them or I lose them. So, all right, one or two more cards for pile three, please. Oh, we got two more. Wow. You guys got the hermit and the King of Wands. The Hermit, I'm hearing a lot of you guys have been working, oh, okay. 10 of Wands is your bottom of the deck energy. So I feel like a lot of you guys are moving past this heaviness, this weight, this responsibility, this, you've been carrying it all in your shoulders. Maybe this is, for a lot of you guys, I feel like this is a relationship, even though I wasn't technically trying to do a relationship, 
reading, but I feel like you guys have been carrying the load <laughs> of a relationship on your back. And it's time to like turn that over, surrender, like almost make the choice to let it go as hard as that is. Trust divine timing, trust in the shadow and the scariness of it, but letting it all go. And if you guys have been, if you're working on them, I know I'm releasing this on the new moon, but, or the full moon, but I'm hearing, let it go to the moon, give it to the universe, give it to God, give it to the moon, whatever it is that you connect with, give it to your light team, your angels, whatever you want to call them. I'm hearing surrender. Actually, I'm seeing surrender. Like uh, sometimes my, the way my messages work sometimes, like you guys know a neon light sign, right? Where like a word will be in a neon light. They will show me a word like a flashing on a neon light and I'm getting surrender. So for a majority of you guys in this group, I'm hearing just surrender to divine timing, surrender to the truth being revealed, surrender to inner healing. I feel like as I say that, a lot of you guys have been like, I've already been doing this, but continue to do it. If you're not there, start doing it. If you're there, keep going. And I'm hearing like, there's going to be passionate rewards coming in. Maybe not necessarily just at this time for some from somebody else, but from your soul. I'm hearing soul work, soul recognition, soul rewards coming in. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's still not good enough. But just know that everything you guys have put in, all this hard work, all this stuff, I'm so trying so hard not to, to cuss, all this stuff that you've been carrying on your back is going to pay off you're going to have a payoff you're going to have a fruitful connection coming in soon but it's going to take a little more shadow work a little more patience a little more inner work and i know that you guys are probably like screw you for saying that but that's what they're giving me at this time i'm hearing dive deeper delve deeper journal look up shadow work questions. Um, as a light worker, I kind of, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm having a vulnerable moment with you guys because maybe some of you guys are the same. As a light worker, I tended to focus on the light attributes of my life, not realizing life is only complete with the polarity. You can't fully understand the beauty of the light if you don't understand your dark and accept your dark. So I know collectively a lot of people have been in that and really working on their shadow work and I'm saying that you're doing all the good things. Timing's not there yet, but you're working towards this reward. They're showing me reward across this card. King of Wands, so maybe some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign, but your reward is coming in. Like, But I'm hearing it's more than that. It's a passion within you. It's a burning fire within your creation. I know I'm sounding really weird, but I feel like the weight uh, that's been on your shoulders is going to be released the more you dive in, tune in, tap in to all this uh, grittiness that is within you. It's still just as beautiful as the light and it's just as necessary as the light. <laughs> all right. I'm going to get weird on you guys for a minute. Um, I'm a very deep soul, and if you guys are there with me, rock on. Um, if you're not, just ignore. But um, we can't understand the beauty of the light until you understand the darkness. So we have come to earth to understand the polarity, the contrast, to really understand how beautiful heaven is by understanding the opposite. Sometimes earth is described, like the realm of earth is described as being the furthest away of from God, the first way of from connection, AKA basically hell. I know I'm getting really weird, <laughs> sorry. But if those for understand that message is for them, if it's not, if you're more not there yet, don't worry about it. Just ignore that part. But I'm just hearing like, accept the dark as much as you accept the light. And that's gonna be the tweak that you need to move you forward. So I'm gonna get off that weird soapbox. <laughs> Let me pull. Some moonology cards, one or two for pile three. And this one. Or we have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So, and nothing will come of this situation. Avoid course moon. 
but then they're also telling me to flip this over so I don't take this one. A new romantic cycle begins. So as this Ten of Wands, which any ten is the end of a cycle, I'm hearing a new cycle is beginning either. I'm hearing, well, this card legitimately says romantic cycle, so it can be renewed romantic cycle or a very much a new romantic cycle is coming in for you. Some of you guys, New Moon and Libra was in October, so there might be something prevalent about October. I need to look at this. So this isn't necessarily the most favorable card, but it says nothing will come of the situation. And I, they're being drawn in to the word void. So I'm hearing whatever isn't working for you at this time to let that go. They're showing me like a chalice or a cup with like black goo in it and being released. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but I'm hearing like, let all the stickiness, the darkness, the yuckiness that's in you pour it out because nothing's going to come from that. And that might be sadness. That might not be like the situation. Nothing's going to come out of it. But any ickiness you're holding about a situation, it's time to let that go, to pour it out, to let that go. Is the message I'm getting. Take that as you will. Luck is on your side. They're also pulling me into the fact that this is an arrow. So with an arrow, we have to remember that sometimes, well, all the time, when you're shooting an arrow, an arrow has to be pulled back in order to be push forward. So I'm being told that you may have felt like stagnant or you're not moving anywhere or even that you're falling back or taking a couple steps back. Just know that that pullback is needed in order to accelerate forward. It's almost if we look at this card this way and we pull back and then you're going to launch. So with these new romantic cycles, new moons, in the middle of you getting to where you want to be, it involves letting go of this ickiness. They keep just showing me icky goopy black tar almost is what I'm getting like slowly pouring out of this and they're showing me a cup so I'm feeling like that's emotional because you know the cups are emotions and I'm showing it slowly pouring out but it's needed so to like let go of any yucky goopiness that's within you is the only way I can interpret that vision that they're giving me and I'm seeing someone actually physically like taking their hands and scraping the tar out. Like you might have to physically force yourself to remove it from your, your soul almost or your essence in order to move forward into this new cycle. So for some of you guys, this will be actually a new person. But some of you guys, it may be a renewed vision or a connection with someone that you already know. But it involves actually clearing out this yuckiness so take that as you will i want to pull these are the dark shadow cards my lovely friend kind got this for the channel so everyone say thank you kind and we'll see what shadows you guys need to release i calling for one card but if more than one card comes out we'll pull it so for pile three what do they need to release at this time besides this icky tarry goop that you guys are giving me artificial heart and a child I was meant to be. Wow. Okay. <sighs> We're dealing with some childhood wounds for some of you guys. I'm hearing like whatever has hardened your heart that has made you be almost, not I don't want to say fake, but not true to who your heart is. And that has stemmed from pains that you've gone through through your childhood that's the ickiness that you need to let go like they're showing me this swirl into this tar this tar of being fake and authentic and i'm not calling you guys fake i hope you know what i mean um but this inauthentic uh, on sorry what they're giving me is hard to the closest thing i can come up for the unauthentic to yourself and if that stems from a lot of you guys from a childhood wound um, that's been holding you back from growing, you have to look at this girl and she's in the kind of the color yellow, which is your solar plexus, which sometimes can be like mud, like the womb or, or just relationships as you were growing that have halted your growth. It's time to let them go so you can grow forward. 
And if you've created or cultivated this heart of artificial heart or wall around your heart to protect yourself, it's time to let that go because that is the tweak that is needed to move forward. I want to pull a card or two for me for you guys from the universe. Just realized we had a weird card in there. Okay. So any universal truths for pile three before I move on to letters and charms. says, I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself I am love and miracles are natural. So they're being, they're drawing into this statement, I am, which is probably one of the most powerful statements of the universe. So when you say I am, and then you repeat it with anything negative, that's what you're pulling in. So I need you to tweak, they keep giving the word tweak. Not like a tweaker, but tweaking like you're you're just on the edge of your manifesting skills on changing your whole life just by tweaking a couple little words that you speak, thoughts that you think and start with the most powerful thing. I am love. I am deserving. I am worthy. I am everything. I am kind. I am generous. I am deserving of love. I am all those things that you want. I want you to change any unworthy quotes that you say along with these, I am fat, I am ugly, I am sad, I am depressed, I am unmotivated. Any of those words that you've been speaking, I need you to flip the script and change it to I am and something powerful. And I'm not saying this as if I'm above that and haven't been there, I'm still there and it's still an everyday reminder to myself that the words I speak and the thoughts I think create my reality. And I am is so powerful. So if you do one thing for yourself today, be mindful about the words that you speak and the thoughts that you think about yourself and your self-respect, your self-worth, and change those I am's into the most powerful statements you own. And I'm telling you, life will switch. So with that said, we're gonna move to charms and letters. I never want to act like I'm on a soapbox because I'm not. Most of these messages, like when I get very passionate, guys, you have to understand these are coming from a place much greater than me, an area of divine, intense love. And I'm just sharing that as they give it to me, as I feel filled with this love that I wish everyone could fill or feel themselves. I just don't know how to describe it because it's so beautiful. And if you've never felt that, I encourage you to meditate. I know I talk about it all the time, but it's very, very powerful. So with that said, we're gonna look at a zodiac. <laughs> sign, so you guys have Scorpio or a water sign. I'm gonna take both. Uh, so Scorpio or water sign you could be dealing with, or you could be a Scorpio or water sign. And then some letters for you guys. I feel like I get too soapboxy, so I apologize. But that's the way that, ooh, I just got ooh. So I just heard any of my Shet, or Shit's Creek fans, I heard ooh, David, pop in. Um, so we have an E, a W, a T, an L, and an oh, Newt. So this also popped into my head. So I love that N popped in. I don't know if you guys are old enough to watch the uh, second Alien movie, which was Aliens, and the little girl, and its name was Newt. I don't know if anyone's as old, I'm 40. So that movie was very powerful for me when I was young. But when I saw EWT, the first thing that popped in my head was Newt. So the fact that the end popped up was exciting for me. So that might be, or Newt actually might be a nickname for some of you guys. Anyway, so we have an L, an A, a T, a W, E, and an N. I'm not gonna try to spell too many more words. I've already gone down that rabbit hole. Take it as you will. ET's in here, that was another pile. Wet. Mm. Some of you guys could be getting wet. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'll stop. Um, you guys know I'm the, the bashful reader about anything. My friend Jen likes to call me that out on that. I just dropped a charm and I don't know where it went. I can find it. I feel like it was for you guys. Maybe not. Darn it. All right. Don't know where that last charm went. Maybe it wasn't for you guys if they didn't let me find it. Oh, I found it. Princess, and on the back side is divine. So, princess or divine, 
Divine Princess might be relevant for some of you guys. What other charms for Pile 3? They haven't really been letting me pick a lot of charms this time. So we have five. Wow, we have a lot of words. Oh, and Divine popped up again. And I have Infinity. All right. And then was D there before? I feel like another letter popped out. Princess Want Divine. And the back of Want is Star and Infinity for Love. So I know this isn't a lot of charms. They've been very weird about charms on this reading. So the number five. So five is about change. So some changes coming in. But I'm hearing an infinite love will never end. It continually comes back around. And they're reminding me of soul contracts. So I know some people have asked about like, well, free will versus fate, destiny, things like that. Like they're not understanding. And the way that it's been presented to me, and I can't say I'm 100% right. Again, this is just through my perception of what they give me is they're, is such a thing as free will there's also things as destiny so there's certain soul contracts that you sign up for sometimes with certain people sometimes just in general and those messages will keep in infinitely coming back around either through that same person or through different people until you finally <laughs> learn that lesson but you always have the choice to ignore it and it'll just keep cycling back around until you die uh, and when you go on the other side you'll be like I never fulfilled that lesson I wanted to learn Anyways, I won't go down that whole, maybe I should do a whole reading or a whole video about that whole subject sometimes if anyone's curious about my thoughts about why we're here. Anyways, but so Princess, I keep thinking that someone's nickname. Someone's nickname is Princess from their special person. And so that's relevant. Want and stars. So I'm hearing want, the want and wish that you've had on the stars is going to come true and it will be divinely guided. So pile three, I hope this helped. I hope this was intuitive and powerful and meaningful to you. As always, I appreciate anyone who takes the time to watch my videos, subscribe. I will be doing uh, personal free readings again, or I have been doing them, um, but uh, those are the only personal readings I'm doing at this time. So make sure you're subscribed and commenting to be entered into that contest. Thank you guys so much and have a lovely one. Bye.